Hey guys, uh, back with me again. And today I'm going to do a tutorial, a short tutorial, I don't know, short or maybe medium tutorial length, <laughs> about how you design a logo or how you can uh, create a brand. Uh, I can say it's a uh, lo uh, yeah, how you build a brand and from there how you design a logo and how you implement it to to present it to your client for the look and feel and for uh, yeah for the concept and everything so uh, first uh, thank you to come to my channel and sorry if my English uh, sound really bad because I'm not from uh, English speaking country I'm from Indonesia so yeah and uh, okay uh, so for this uh, tutorial I'm going to build a logo basically per se you have a client or you for your own business or something like that you want to open a coffee shop just a small nice coffee shop and uh, you 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 already think about the name or something like that so per se you just want to open a coffee shop by tomorrow or something like that so yeah so now for that coffee shop for this uh for this uh tutorial i'm gonna think about the name we call it tasty because i can't think of the name <laughs> so per se the name is tasty so here tasty uh first uh of course uh we're gonna have to write down the name tasty then uh that's it like you don't have any idea or whatsoever like what I'm gonna do with the logo so from there uh, usually logo you have to there's a two type they have a logo brand for the image or the icon or they got logo type for the typography so now you got it uh, you need to you get a typography uh, here but it doesn't really present what is uh, coffee and uh, food and beverage is all about because this is a myriad pro it just look bland so oh and again for the tutorial here I'm gonna give you uh, 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 sorry uh, example uh, from all the the, the result eh, sorry it's not the result for, I, I, I cannot think what I am talking about. Uh, <coughs> sorry, all the elements you can download it for free from the internet. Okay, so yes. Uh, now for the font, we can go to go to font Google. Okay, for this one, actually I already built it for the sake of uh, make it easier. I'm gonna use a font called Permanent Maker. So this is free. All the thing is free. You can go to Google. They give you all free font here. So you just uh, here in Google font, uh, you can see there's a serif, sans serif display, handwriting, and monospace. So the idea was uh, if you don't know what a serif font is, uh, serif font is a font the one that have a uh, I don't know what cursive or something. You know the, this kind of thing here. I don't know what's in English. Uh, actually, I, I'm not really good in uh, design uh, jargon here. So yeah, they got this kind of thing. And Sans Serif is uh, just a plain font like this uh, without, the without the cursive. Is it cursive? I don't know. Then you get here, they got display. I don't know what's display. Oh. So maybe they say the display is uh, something that look fancy. So now, no fonts found. We looking for I don't know the the vibe the one that I want for my coffee shop for 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 the coffee shop is something that rug you know like a coffee bean it's rug but it's a uh, raw and it's a uh, rough rug raw and uh, but it tastes really good so I'm thinking of like a handwriting it's like a sketch kind of thing so we can scroll down here and the font I use just now was permanent. Maker, so I already searched about the font. The, the one that is suitable is from a maker, maybe. Ah, here. So you just go to Google Font, then uh, you plus, 
and it's selected then you just download it then you can uh, download whatever you want then install the font just double click and install okay if you're in Windows oh, I'm recording it. then if not then if you're in Windows then that's it so you get the font here so yeah it's a permanent maker that's it even like that it's already a good brand right so you can have this as the <coughs> Uh, it's uh, <coughs> logo type. The logo type, yeah. Okay, uh, okay. call this the logo type. And here, like I said, if you have on a branding, on a brand, you need two types. Uh, you got a logo type here, and you need to have the logo brand, brand uh, logo gram. Sorry, gram is uh, the one that only like uh, the the just the, the icon or something or the. The, the the image of the logo. So from here, uh, again, uh, logo uh, design never uh, factor never die. So you just uh, from here, I was thinking like, okay, what if like we delete all the vocal, is it or consonant or something like that? The the life consonant. Yeah. Then we got a TST. That's our uh, icon, man. That's like brand icon. It's a TST. So we got tasty and TST. So here I'm gonna create outlines so it's not a typography anymore. Right click the outlines. That's it! You got your super cool logo. Easy, easy peasy. Right? Not hard. Then you need to maybe to give a, a tagline. Uh, usually on the brand you have a uh, first main uh, typography and you get the second one <coughs> so the second one I'm use uh, Lato another uh, just uh, look for a uh, sans serif font here in uh, Google Where is it? okay Google sucks I don't know what happened okay oh sorry because I get this one Yep, Google that sucks. Google is awesome. So yeah, you just choose any other font. So usually uh, for a tagline or something, you choose the one the basic font, the one that you can use it for the tagline or then for the body copy or everything. So just use Lato and you put it here and uh, maybe put it bigger a bit. So there you go, have it. Logo type with tagline. Alright, super cool. So there you go, five minutes, you got a brand new logo. Then, this is your logo. From here, actually you want to go to build up your brand for the coffee shop. I already built it. So yeah, here the mockup, you can uh, use it for a guideline or something like that. If you want to change it later, how is it? But at least most of it, uh, you already see it how. So basically, uh, yeah, this is the design one that we're gonna do. It's all available here at graphicburger.com. You can go here. Uh, maybe later I am gonna put the the link on the description and uh, just look for mockup. Maybe food. Uh, oh yeah, just uh, scroll down. This they got all this uh, free, and you can use it for all your convenience, all the mockups. PSD, uh, search coffee. Anyway, uh, you can. Uh, the, my internet kind of crap here. Yeah. So. Yeah, here. Ah, uh, here. Food packaging and breading mockups. Just uh, grab it from here. Then you can do whatever you want, and you can download. And don't forget to give love. And maybe I don't know if they're asking for anything. Just. Uh, Give them uh, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, thanks and everything. Link to their link or something like that. Anyway, <coughs> okay. So yeah, this is the one that we're gonna use. I already put uh, have it here in my Photoshop. So where, where where is it? Oh goodness, my uh, here. So here all the label. Okay. 
So the idea was if you never know about this thing you download and here you have what it's called uh, I think it's a is a vector thing uh, okay so vector based output so you double click and <coughs> after you double click uh, the it's gonna come out another window then here you can uh, just put all the design the one that you want so I'll do make it here the stationary okay so for uh, branding and look and feel you just play around with wherever you have here like here I try to have the pack with the coffee bean behind uh, background and uh, here the thing you have a control click and you can select the, the label and uh, this is all the label right and we can do uh, multiply it it's ugly uh, just normal maybe a uh, low city something like that. So, nice yes so uh, this is all the thing just uh, double click I'm sorry double click here double click on the layer then uh, you just shoot. Uh, select and copy from uh, illustrator then uh, paste here Paste the here. Oh, okay. You need to wait for a while for the computer to catching up. Then uh, just press enter here. Enter. Then uh, just uh, like that. Line. Oh, and control save. Control S. And save here. Come all the thing. So yeah, you just uh, build this thing to to see how how big for this thing. You just double click, okay. Then you with the what do you call? Uh, sorry, uh, rectangular mark. You just uh, like this. Then you can control copy, control C. Then you paste here, and you get yourself the the size exactly the size of the layer. So from here maybe I'm gonna from here. Then you just uh, do something like this. Then uh, make it white. So you got yourself already a new base. And maybe if you don't like with the background, you can do something like this. Uh, well, design is something that you okay. You control uh, two to lock the thing. Design is something that you have to uh, you have to try experience uh, experiment. Sorry. Oh, then we got the small wording. Small wording. I didn't bring it. Huh? Okay. Uh, control two. And uh, just like this. Uh, Control two and copy. Control two, paste. Control V, paste. Is here and just put like this maybe. Okay, we change this font to white first because wanna change the background to black. See, it's uh, nice already. And you can do this. Uh, just make it. Uh, sorry. Uh, gone so you when you copy the thing it's exactly on the place the one that you want to be uh, yeah. v. That's it. then you save it control s and uh, it's gonna be here wow look at that another type just plain like this or maybe you want to have it with a background image coffee Again, uh, you can find uh, just a free background image everywhere in the internet. They get a lot. So yeah. Oh shit! This is happening when. Uh, so I think it's a bug. Anyway, so, yep, something like that. So yeah, you got. For me personally, I prefer with the background image. I don't know. Just make it. I don't know just to make it a basic so yeah with the background image and because the rest is already uh, basic right minimalist so yeah okay I'm gonna put it here it's kind of nice uh, just 
make it like that you know there so we know we have uh, this uh, that. okay so yeah just the rest uh, you copy paste and everything design it make it like that we got a name card paper bag we got a black tissue here right and everything we got the logo here if you get double click just uh, copy from the logo here then uh, you put it here copy then you save and come out like this and this is for the signage and this is for the uh, what you call it the signage too outside signage yeah this one just now the window signage and maybe this one is for the the whole uh, store something like that yeah very nice right everything you can get it uh, for free uh, here on the graphic burger and uh, another one is I got it from here freebie logo mockup window I'm gonna give it the link below and uh, yeah I think that's all and uh, this is the coffee cup you can get it too on the graphic burger so basically uh, this is all the the design okay you got yourself a branding coffee uh, fast you can do it like an hour or something like that branding your own coffee uh, coffee brand and here a tasty TST okay there very nice right gorgeous right you can see now the look and feel and you can uh, you can uh, bring it here you make a new one and uh, just uh, put an RGB Easy. then uh, just uh, drag everything and you already have your uh, <coughs> look board okay the mood board here this is the logo the one that we're gonna use That's all. You can uh, download and just uh, try it. All the okay, but I'm gonna just uh... actually you can do this easier. <laughs> then uh, copy paste it. Oh, sorry. What happened? A guy who lazy so select all then uh, just uh, get small so we don't have uh, that much need to be that big right 100% so yeah this is everything here you can see we got our brand look Oh, the coffee shop, guys. Super, super gorgeous. Gorgeously beautiful. And you can present it, this, for your client, okay? And, uh, present it to them. Alright, look at that. Easy, right? So easy. That fast, that easy. I'll put it here. Ta -da. That's it. That's your coffee brand. Easy. That's how you do it. Make a logo first. No need to be too fancy or something like that. Minimalist, basic. Then from there, you line up all the element one that you want to have. Like you got an envelope, you got everything from the mockups. 
then uh, from there you just uh, this is the menu the paper menu you got your whatever you put there the font what I use is Lato you see that's the body copy font remember the one that I told you uh, we need at least minimum two font the typography for this yes body copy then this is the name card okay so that's branding guys that's branding and design a logo okay it's not easy. it's never been about how you design a logo but it's how you implement all that brand into something that uh, related and have synergy in between and from there you will have something like this where it's already a brand and you can implement it across the board okay that is branding and from brand you have a logo design you have uh, mock-up design you get the look and feel and everything and uh, the product the packaging and so on okay yeah so I think this is gonna be my uh, second tutorial about branding I'm gonna do another tutorial I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do more uh, brand uh, tutorial uh, from uh, from the beginning but since I, I'm scared to make like a longer video but I just gonna make it then hopefully from there uh, uh, give you a guy uh, guys about how good the about how, how you're gonna think about how you build a brand or a logo or something in front then uh, how you build a brand like uh, here the ideation why I choose color black because coffee is black and you can see it's have a rock and rough uh, ideation it's fast and why it's just like a sketch because uh, I want to press it that it's, uh, it's fast you can grab the coffee on the go and everything and it's friendly and uh, you and it's uh, full of uh, creativity so when you hang out in the coffee shop you can uh, you can uh, you can uh, you can uh, have a brainstorm or hang out with your friend and everything a good a good time in it and you can uh, have a uh, and you can feel the coffee and uh, the sandwich everything is really nice okay guys so don't don't scare don't hesitate uh, don't feel hesitate to 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 what you call it experiment when you build a brand when you do, do a logo because brand is life never die brand is something that organic you have to see brand as a living thing so you have to see it, see him see her see it as uh, something that can uh, emulate to different mediums okay so this medium uh, uh, is uh, this is a coffee shop and it can emulate to everywhere all right okay I think uh, that's all uh, from me thank you very much for watching so I'm sorry this is tasty and uh, this is a logo uh, I'm gonna put my logo here uh, for sale in uh, creative market if you guys uh, want to go uh, there's uh, my link there and you guys can uh, visit my other link uh, graphic uh, graphic river and everything uh, so and the society six and just uh, have a good day yeah thank you very much guys uh, for uh, watching and I'm out Ciao!